What's up, Trap Fam? Welcome back. It's still raining, but new vlog. My daughter wanted to uh, look around in downtown Sharon, Pennsylvania. Again, this is a super small town. We're in the downtown area, and we're gonna go into this store called the Emerald Tablet. Wait, which one did you already buy? That one. Oh, I'm sure already bought. What does it say? Connects you to the ancestors. It stimulates and enhances all forms of communication and lingual skills. It aid divin. I can't divinate. Divination. Divination and Divination, psychic yeah. development. My daughter wants to be clairvoyant. She wants to see the future. Right? She wants to see the future and she wants to connect to her ancestors, she says. What did you get? What did you find? It's uh What is it? Pretty. Let me see. Kelsey. Yeah. Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah. Trying to get the camera to kind of pick up how pretty it is, but which one is that? Kelsey. Let me see. What does it say? Deepen intellect. That's my girl. Memory, wisdom. Yeah. More psychic abilities, spirituality, astral projection, channeling, higher consciousness. Hmm. I just tasted this one. It tasted nothing like lemon. You tasted it and it tastes nothing like lemon. That figures. <laughs> False advertisement. False advertisement. Thank you. Mystery grab bags. These are the things you might find inside. And look at the price of them. 11 11 I love it. That's really cool. We're gonna show you a little bit of downtown. I don't know. I think this is a river, isn't it? No, it's a freeway. Shin <laughs> Wise guy. We're gonna actually, that was the store we were at over there, the Emerald Tablet. We're actually gonna go over here to a little diner, the silver diner car, and uh, eat and have a milkshake. Apparently they have the top 10 milkshake in Pennsylvania. Oh, so this flag, I guess, tells us that this is the Shenango River? Shenango River, but it's very dirty. This is, this is downtown Sharon, Pennsylvania. 
straight up this street, straight up that hill, is the border of Ohio, which is pretty crazy. Ooh, all you can eat pancakes, and we missed it because it's from 7 Eleven. 7 to 11. Best burgers. Riverside Dri Dining. And here it is top 10 milkshakes in Pennsylvania. It's called Donna's Diner. Decide which milkshake do we want? Ooh. This place is really cute. It's definitely like all 50s themed. The menu is totally like 50s as well. It's all of the things are named after stuff from the 50s. Like I Love Lucy, Popeye, Summer Lovin'. They have a sandwich called the, uh, they have a sandwich called the Elvis, where's it at? Somewhere right here. The Elvis. Famous grilled peanut butter, banana, and bacon sandwich with grape jelly on the side. Patty Page. Oh wow, this is so cool. Yeah. Felix the Cat. <laughs> Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> so cute. The milkshakes have arrived. This one is cake batter. It's cute. And then this one is Nutella. Samantha will have to be the first. Samantha's always the first one to try everything, so go ahead. It's literally my milkshake. I know. <laughs> go ahead. It came with extra milkshake also. Tastes more like chocolate syrup, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, the Nutella is probably in the bottom. No, I, I put it all the way down. But oh, it's good still. It's good. How about yeah, is it good? Get is it as good as Johnny Rockets? Mmm. Is it good? Yes. It's good. Yeah. Oh, it, it tastes like it actually has cake. Does it? Yeah. Like Oh, oh, and we have, he's going to taste his orange juice. Wait, taste it. I mean, oh. Did you taste it? The new was on the spoon. Mm. Tastes like oranges. <laughs> so smart, Ellen. What's on the spoon? Oh, the Nutella's on the spoon. Mmm. Yummy. What did you get? A tuna melt? Yeah. A tuna melt with homemade chips with fried, uh, homemade chips with ranch dusting. Tater Tots is favorite. She got the Elvis, which is a um, peanut butter banana it? bacon. Peanut butter banana bacon. Oh my gosh! And she got the what is yours called? Uh, the I wanted to call it an Elmer Fudd. What is it? It is the Elmer Fudd. Thank you. Mac bacon mac and cheese. Thank you. And uh, yeah, strawberry or grape. Uh, ELT with ranch dusted fries. And hers comes with what? Strawberry jam or grape jelly? Mm. So this sandwich that Samantha got, the Elvis, is actually such a strange combination of bananas, peanut butter, bacon, and... Did you get strawberry jelly? Mm -hmm. Strawberry jelly, but it's really good. Do you love it? It's actually good. We all tried it, and it's actually good. Off to the candy store. So we're going to go into Daffin's Candy Store in Sharon, Pennsylvania, and I haven't told the girls what's in there yet, but this is going to be super cute. Wow, is that a roll of taffy? Oh my gosh. Oh man, it smells like chocolate. They're, they're so... We told them that there was something in the back that they had to see. <gasps> Look! Humbugs. Humbugs. Those were my grandmother's favorite candies from here. And you can only get them here at Daffin's in Sharon, Pennsylvania. Real handmade. Is that chocolate? Yeah. Are you serious? It is out, made out of chocolate and jelly bean walkway. A chocolate turtle. This is all 
chocolate, either covered or really thick chocolate pieces. The houses back there are chocolate walls and things. They had a solid turtle and a solid castle, but they had to get rid of them because they disintegrated. And all of this stuff, believe it or not, is from the 70s. And it's still, it's been here this whole time and it's still, still standing. And then that tree that I showed you guys up front, they paint it with chocolate every year. Wow. <laughs> to keep it looking like this. Incredible. That tree I showed you guys up front is completely made out of chocolate. And it is only two years old, she said. But this is from the 70s. The original Peter Rabbit mold design built by Peter Daffin in 1962. So those chocolate bunnies, that's the mold for it. Wow. Incredible. So Freddie got himself some candy, home of the Chocolate Kingdom, which we showed you guys. But look at how it comes. It comes all packaged all nicely. Let me show you what he got. Mm. In Pennsylvania, they decorate their houses for Halloween. Like, it's a big thing. And this house is all decorated. So cool. This house is all decorated for Halloween. This is the hill that goes down into the town, Sharon, and right behind our car basically is the border to Ohio. So they call this area Penn, Ohio because it's on the border, like we're so close to the border of both states, Pennsylvania and Ohio. Is that why they call it Penn, Ohio? No way. Oh my God. The houses here are just so crazy. You know what's funny? What? If some of your viewers kind of live out here, they'd be like, what the? That's my house. <laughs> you just drove past my house. That'd be crazy. Look at this church. The churches are just so pretty. You just can't replicate this. This is just so much history. And this place is really cool inside. That room over there is like full of board games and stuff. It's really cute. There is our ride home. We are out of here, Pennsylvania. It's been a good trip. We did a lot. We saw a lot. Not enough? What, is it, what else did you want to do? A lot. Oh, well, I think that we did a lot. You didn't do nothing. Okay, I did nothing. <laughs> I did nothing, but it's been an amazing trip, and now we're headed whoosh, back to LA, thankfully, and home. I cannot wait to sleep in bed tonight. Thanks for coming to Pennsylvania with us. We love you.